Hey guys, it's Saru. Since its release last week, I've been playing Dying Light 2 non-stop and working through the storylines from different choices in the game from the Peacekeepers and the Survivors to make an in-depth video on my review of the game. While doing so, I found a little glitch, which I'm not really sure if it is a glitch because it seems intentional, but not necessarily intentional in this way, which I'm only making this video for Techland to know to patch, which is pretty exploity, and for players that are completely unaware of this and may want to do it for small progression boost in the game. We'll be talking about how you you can get unlimited infected trophies for crafting and upgrading things, as well as money and a few other materials through this method. So, let's get right into it. So first and foremost, every single kill that you get from this method will be about two infected uncommon trophies, which help quite a bit when you're doing the low progression base type of things in Dying Light 2. There are some caveats. First, before we start the video, let's get those out of the way. First, you need to be doing kind of the Peacekeeper storyline. So mute me right now for spoilers for the next 15 seconds. So this means when you help the Peacekeepers get the water, and then you go under the tunnel with Hakon, he kind of betrays you, and you have a few issues going on where the tunnel is filled with zombies and eventually you do get help from the peacekeepers which gives you a bomb and a few immunity boosters and then you blow up a hole in the wall so you can get out of this now that the spoiler is out of the way in that specific part when the door is completely blown open there's going to be an unlimited amount of fire on there which zombies will run through you and keep attacking you now game design idea is basically you run and you run away from these infected zombies because they're coming at you right so you want to kill them but you also want to survive the whole idea is about surviving now if you have a lot of materials or bandages or immunity boosters or medikits or if your immunity is about seven minutes at this point which it should be you can pretty much get as much as you want out of this but it will take some time so every time these zombies come in here you can actually lead them through the fire if you want usually they'll go in there they'll die or you can kill them there's gonna be about three to four every single time that they're coming in and they'll just spawn an unlimited amount pretty much every single one that you kill will give you infected trophies some gold and maybe some extra materials additionally you can also boost up your combat skills completely just by doing this so you can do this for about an hour or two and again this completely depends on the materials you have and how your stats are set up so if you have enough immunity and you have enough immunity boosters and med kits and bandages like I said you could stay in here for quite a while now, I wasn't really sure if this was intended or not but I kept trying this for a good 20 minutes and it did not stop at some point I just stopped after 20 minutes and said I'm out of here and left and continue the story but again if you're interested you want to go through the peacekeeper storyline and that's all I'll say about that so I don't spoil it too much for you I know the game came out last week and I could technically spoil it for you, but for those that are like still waiting on the game and stuff like that. But the show work for PC, PlayStation, and Xbox, so if you're playing this game and you're trying to do that storyline, you could get quite a bit of combat boost materials as well as progression based items such as the trophies, which would help you upgrade a lot of the items that you need, such as the bandages, the med kits, and the immunity boosters when you're crafting. Alright guys, hopefully this helped you, and if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe and click the adorable f***ing bell to know when I upload a brand new video. And don't forget to come join my Discord if you want to chat and hang out. Much love and as always, till next time friends.